What's up, guys? Welcome back. This is, uh... Part 14? Possibly? Around there? Uh... Just gonna be doing a little backtracking. Getting the... To the Holy Chapel. Uh, and actually a little bit faster to go this way. And by Holy Chapel, I mean Royal Chapel, but same thing, roughly. Tried to record this video a couple times earlier, and uh, had a lot of lag going on, so hopefully that's resolved now. Basically, we just got to uh, equip spike breaker armor. Make our way through here. Jewel of open. It's that door. And. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, or, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That, that can't be true. Be true? You're wrong. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. All right, now we got the silver ring and the gold ring, and I'm still experiencing a bit of lag, it seems. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep going in this video because I'm a bit behind, and I'll figure out the lag issue later. Odds are, I just need to tweak something on my computer. But all right. Now the easiest path to take is gonna be this same one. Just gonna be heading back to the room with the big clock. Lots of backtracking for this part, but <clears throat> not a whole lot. We have all that looks like maybe three or four blocks of the map complete, so except for a couple up at the top, which is perfectly fine. We don't need full 200% completion to get the best ending, I don't believe. And if need be, we can always backtrack a little bit later. And we'll 
stop doing that. I lied. Alright. <clears throat> I had the spike breaker armor equipped. My bad. If anybody wants to complain about that, well, I don't care. Now, gold and silver ring equipped. And come in here. bell tolls. Come down here into a life max up. Heart max up. As well as save point. And now we take this elevator. Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Alright, that was... I'm not even sure how Maria got in there, but we won't discuss that. We got the Holy Glasses, which is going to help us a little bit later. In fact... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Take the long way to kind of get a little bit more map completion, because I did leave off a big chunk of it up there. Luckily it's just a lot of running that the wolf can do. Silver Ring don't actually add any stats. I'm not gonna take the time to unequip them right now. Well, I guess I can. to the outer wall. Eh, let's take the elevator. I don't think we've taken that one yet. A little bit faster. There's a big chunk of map up here I left out. Go ahead and wing smash my way across here then.
There we go. I somehow missed a small block up there, too. We're gonna go get that. Just gonna avoid the bullet hell moment here. Kind of dodge out of the way. All right, the part I missed is up here. Which of course has a ton of the flea guys. Just what I needed. died a lot faster before. There we go. Okay. Doing better on the map completion. Yes, yeah, is pretty much the most boring part of the game is all the backtracking, but still a good game. Making our way to a more interesting part, the inverted castle. And back we are. Got all the map percentage up here, it looks like, so... So, and here's a point where I actually have to uh, break a rule on wearing equipment. I have to wear the holy glasses to fight Richter. I also do want to restore HP before I jump into this. Yeah, it's this one right here. Just under 300 HP. Should be doable. Alright, here we go. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. All right, 
Alright, he's gonna try to hit me with Jesus here. And he's gonna fail, of course. Alright. You'll notice that green orb floating above him. If I don't have the Holy Glasses equipped, it's not there. So that's the reason I need to... start getting crap being out of me. Luckily he has a bit of a pattern going. Here we go. You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. I done. Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. Alright, so... Normally if you just kill Richter, you get one of the other endings, but uh, with the Holy Glasses and all that, you get to continue the game into what is known as the Inverted Castle. Which, you will soon see, is the exact same as the other castle, but upside down. which is unique in itself, the fact that they made the entire game able to be played both right side up and upside down, but also just fun to do sometimes. There's a lot of different areas that become more challenging and harder, but still essentially the same game. This is also where a lot of the good leveling is done. Got all those items, gonna go back up here. Oop. There we go. There's just a bunch of random items instead of the usual life max ups and heart max ups that would be in the normal castle. That's one thing that's definitely different about this castle is everything is a lot harder and in different places. You're not going to find the exact same things in this castle over here. Might find some of the same enemies though. Which we're gonna find out here in a minute. Well, come on down here. Quit biting me. There we go. All the breakable walls are in the same spot, but, uh, like I said, everything's pretty much essentially the same, just a lot of added challenge and difficulty with monsters.
And if you use a library card here, it does take you back to the normal library, not to the inverted one. Otherwise, that'd be a lovely shortcut. But sadly, it's got to go the normal way. Oh, that one's supposed to happen. That's okay. Just lost one little block over there. Not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to go ahead and save it right here and call that a video. Thanks for watching, guys.